Hey guys, and welcome to the Fairies in Our Room Challenge. So a lot of you guys I know have probably done these types of challenges before, where we tell you what object you need to look for in the video, and then you look for it. If you can find all of these objects, then you can be really proud of yourself, because that means you're a Baby Teeth 4 super fan. We have seven episodes, seven episodes of the Fairies in the Wood series, or Fairies in Our Room series that we made this summer, and they're all together here for the first time, all together, so um, this will go all the way through the finale. So the first one, Inside the Fairy Door, what item are they looking for? An egg. An egg is somewhere in the video. Somewhere in the video, not this egg. Well, it'll look like this egg, but it'll be in, in the, vi the next video. And so let's roll that video. What's in there, Jillian? It's hard to tell. Whoa, did you see that? Hmm, maybe we should get Daddy. But he's not going to be able to see it, Jillian. Remember, last time he wasn't even able to see the doorway. I guess you're right. I wonder if maybe we should try to close the door. Jillian, if that door came open, it must be for a reason. Well, what are we supposed to do? The door's too small for us to walk into it. Maybe we're supposed to just peek inside. What do you think, Addy? I'm gonna try to reach in there. How do you know it's even safe, Addy? I don't know for sure, but I'm really worried that Paco might be in there. Well, let's try calling him first. Paco! Paco! Paco? Come on, Paco! Are you in there? Paco! Wait a minute, Jillian. I have an idea. Where are you going? I'm gonna use the wand. What are you going to do with it? I don't know if that's a good idea, Addy. I'm just going to poke it in there and see if anything happens. Anything? Whoa. What did you do, Addy? I don't know. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but look. Whoa, what does that mean? I have another idea. Well, now what? I think this is part of the puzzle, Jillian. Why? They wouldn't have given it to us without a reason. Do you think we're supposed to put her in the doorway? What are we supposed to do next? Just relax and let yourself go. Did you hear that? What do you think it means? Maybe we should just do what she says. this place? I don't know, Addy, but it's not home. Is this some kind of forest? It doesn't look like any forests around here, Joanne. Look at that. Joanne, this place just doesn't seem real. I know what you mean. Things keep changing. Do you think we need to be worried? Well, so far nothing seems to be dangerous, but I'm worried about how we're going to get back. Well, we came in here to look for Paco, so let's look around. I don't think we even need to look around. It seems like things come to us here. Oh, but it really is a beautiful place, isn't it, Jillian? What are those over there? Let's investigate. What is that thing? Does it have a face? Wait, Jillian. Oh, hello there. Did that just talk? I thought I was the only one who heard it. <laughs> Welcome to my home. What's the name of this place? This is a place of many names. You can call it the Land of Enchantment. The Land of Enchantment? I don't mean to be rude, but are you a talking tree? <laughs> Not exactly, 
but I am related to what you call trees in your world. Are you the one who made the voices in our walls? Yeah, we have a lot of questions for you. I didn't make the voices in your walls, but I know the ones you did. Are they fairies? Are they nice? Your people used to call them fairies a long time ago. I knew it. Wait, you never said if they were nice. They can be mischievous, but they mean no harm. In fact, nothing here is really dangerous. That's a relief. Well, what was that thing that was flying around in our room? It really scared us. Yeah, that was a sentry. She put a magical spell of protection around your room. Why'd you make that doorway anyway? And why can't our daddy see it? To keep our people safe, we only let very special people see our world. We're special people? Does this have anything to do with Amber? Who's Amber? She's the princess of the people of the forest. We met her last summer. Oh yes, you're the little girls who retrieved the three crystals. Yep, that was us. They even made us honorary princesses. And we are eternally grateful for your help. So why did you bring us here? Do you need our help again? This time, it's not as simple as retrieving crystals, I'm afraid. What's wrong? It seems our world has been leaking magic into your world. We don't know what caused it or how to fix it. Not yet. Was it our fault for using the magic wand? Good heavens, no. That wand only works because of our magic. That's a relief. I would have felt pretty guilty about ruining your world. Why are you worried about leaking a little magic into our world? We don't mind. Magic has a way of making you humans get into mischief. Yeah, I've been down that road before. We're trying to be responsible with the magic. It's not just that. We need the magic to keep our world hidden. If we lose the magic, we could lose everything. That seems pretty serious. Do you really think we could help you? We still have much to decide here. We just wanted to be sure we could count on you. Well, you can count on us to help. But first, I really want to find Paco. Paco? Who's Paco? That's our pet cat. He's gone missing and we're afraid he might have gone through the doorway. A cat, you say? Oh my, that's not good. That's not good at all. What's wrong with cats? Cats cause magic to be very focused. Well, how's that a bad thing? I thought you needed more magic. In your world, cats can be used to control the magic. Oh, so is that why witches have cats? But in our world, a cat can cause magic to behave in unexpected ways. Do you think Paco could get hurt? No, I'm worried about him hurting our people. Don't worry about that. Paco would never hurt anyone. He's a nice cat. He might not do it deliberately, but he could cause disruptions. You need to find him right away. Paco, where are you? Paco, is that you? Jillian, did you hear him? It sounded like it came from over there. Oh no, I'm not going up there. What is that place? It's a castle. Did you find the egg? If you did, please let us know in the comments below. So in the next episode, the fairy castle, you need to look for a bunny rabbit. Aww. A rabbit. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in that video, the fairy castle, mm -hmm. there's a rabbit hiding. Mm -hmm. So, if you let, if you see it, let us know in the comments below. And we still have five more to go after this one. Paco, are you in there? I guess we better go get him. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Why not? Yeah, I thought you said nothing here was dangerous. It is true that nothing here in the forest can harm you, but the castle can be unpredictable. What's inside the castle? Besides our cat. That castle used to belong to the Fairy Queen. Used to? What happened? 
<laughs> well, a long time ago, not far from here, there was a beautiful castle where the royal fairy family ruled over the land of enchantment. You mean that castle right over there? <laughs> yes, that one. Now, the fairy queen was a kind ruler, and everyone loved her. So what went wrong? One day, a package arrived at the castle. Everyone thought it was a gift for the fairy queen. I'm guessing it was something bad, huh? When the package was opened, they found a marionette of a court jester. Back then, it was common for royalty to have a court jester to keep everyone laughing, so no one thought any harm could come of it. What's wrong with a marionette? Yeah, that's just a puppet on strings. This was a special magical marionette that could move and talk all by itself without anyone pulling the strings. It jumped out of the box and danced and sang and told jokes. That sounds like a pretty cool gift, actually. Yeah, who wouldn't want a magical marionette? It might have been a nice gift, but whoever had sent the gesture had put a dark spell on it. It might have looked funny, but it had evil intentions. So a toy with bad intentions arrived in a package from an unknown sender. Now that sounds familiar. Addie, do you think it's... Don't say it, Jillian. The queen loved the jester and didn't think any harm could come from him. But soon, the castle staff realized there was something very wrong with him. Like what? He had a way of turning people against each other. Whenever the jester was around, people would start to bicker and fight amongst themselves. Jillian and I argue all the time, so that won't bother us. Yeah, but we need to get to Paco before the Jester turns him against us. That'll never work. Cats aren't on anyone else's side except for their own. I guess so. That's not all the Jester does. He tries to confuse you with riddles and tricks. He can even make you see things that aren't really there. Got it. So we can't trust him. Why didn't they just get rid of the Jester? He's just a marionette, right? It wasn't as simple as that. He kept turning people against each other and tricking them and lying to them. Soon the whole castle was in chaos. Couldn't their fairies just use their magic to get rid of him? For fairy magic to work, it has to come from a place of goodness and joy. The jester's tricks made the fairy's magic too weak to work properly. What about the fairy queen? By the time she realized what was happening, it was too late. The jester had control over the castle, and he cast everyone out and locked the doors shut. Where's the fairy queen and her people now? They went far away to a secret location where no mischief makers like the jester can find them again. So the jester just lives up there alone now? Yes, some people say he's lost his mind entirely and just wanders the corridors of the castle telling riddles to himself all day. Jillian, as much as I don't want to go up there, we have to get Paco back. You're right. Is there a way inside? I can see that you girls are very brave, and I won't be able to change your minds. Some people say there's a secret entrance in the back, but you must be very careful. If Paco found a way in, maybe we can too. Yeah, and if we're lucky, we won't even see that jester. I hope not. He's very clever. I'd come along with you if I weren't rooted to the ground. Thanks, tree guy. Hey, what's your name anyway? I'm afraid I've forgotten. You forgot your own name? My kind lives a very long time, so this happens. What would you like to call me? Warren Sapp? Charles Barkley? Lamar Woodley? Lumberjack? Twiggy? Mr. Tree Mendes? Forrest Grump? Tyler Oakley? <laughs> I think we'd better revisit this at some point. Good luck, girls! I still think we should have called him Forrest Grump. Are you sure you still want to do this, Addie? No, but I want Paco back, so we have to do this. Yeah, I know what you mean. We just have to be careful that that gesture doesn't trick us. Jillian, look! That must be the secret entrance. It wasn't very secret, was it? 
This might be a trap. Paco's in there, come on! This looks like the castle basement. Paco, are you in here? It sounds like he's this way. Well, what have we here? Ah, the Jester! Jester? No one called me that in years. My name is Hoodwink. Hoodwink? Where's your hood? Addy, to hoodwink means to trick someone. Well, aren't you smart? What are two little girls like you doing in my house? This isn't your house. You stole it from the Fairy Queen. I didn't steal it. They left it behind. We're not going to believe your lies, Hoodwink. Just give us our cat and we'll leave you alone. Cat? I haven't seen any cat around here. Aha! Uh -huh. Paco, come here. We want to take you back home. Oh, that cat. He's not going to go home with you. He lives with me now. You can't do that. We're taking him with us. Paco, where are you hiding? I can't let you have the cat. I need him for my magic. But he's ours. You can go get yourself a new cat. I'll cut those strings of yours. <laughs> You're a feisty one. Where'd he go? I'm over here. There he is, Jillian. You could chase me all day, but you'll never catch me. Let's get him, Jillian. No. What do you mean? He has Paco. No, he doesn't. This is all a trick. What are you talking about? I can hear Paco in here. Don't you see, Addy? He's trying to distract us into chasing after him. Instead, we should just be looking for Paco. Come on, girls! You'll never catch me! I think you're right, Jillian. Let's just ignore this guy. Yeah, that's a good idea. How dare you agree with each other! Ooh, he doesn't like the idea of being ignored, does he? I don't even know who you're talking about, Jillian. Yeah, let's find our cat and get out of here. I think I heard Paco behind that door. Don't you dare go behind that door! There's a horrible monster in there! Did you hear something, Addy? No, nah, I think that was just the wind. Don't open that door! Something bad will happen! Here goes nothing. You'll be sorry! Paco! Wait, Addy. This might be a trap. Paco, come here. Let's go. Two Pacos? Three Pacos? <laughs> you have to decide! Which cat is yours? No, we don't. We'll just take all three. I've put an enchantment on the cats. If you choose correctly, you can all go home. But if you choose the wrong cat, you must stay in the castle with me forever. Paco, which one of you is the right one? I am. No, I am. Don't listen to those two. I'm the real Paco. Oh no. <laughs> You'll never figure it out. No matter which cat you think to choose, Old Hoodwink will never lose. What should we do, Jillian? Hmm. I have an idea. So that was the fairy castle, and the item was a rabbit. Did you find the rabbit? If you didn't, that's okay. Just watch it again, and let us know in the comments below. So the next one is called the Fairy Mystery. Ooh. And the item is a treasure chest. Show them the treasure chest, Jillian. Treasure. Right there. Treasure. So that is somewhere in this next episode, the Fairy Mystery. You'd think a treasure chest would be hard to hide. Hmm? Hmm. Our that... fans are pretty smart. It's going to be hard to hide yeah. any of these things. They're going to find them. I just know it. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right.
Pick a cat. I haven't got all day, you know. Jillian, which cat is the real Paco? I'm starting to think that none of them are the real Paco. What do you mean? Hoodwink said it himself. No matter which cat you think to choose, Old Hoodwink will never lose. Right, so if we choose one of those three cats, we're going to lose. So where is he hiding the real Paco? He could be anywhere. I think he's pretty close. Remember, we keep hearing him meowing. Paco, where are you? Are you going to choose or not? Either way, I win! Did you hear that, Addy? The meowing sounded like it was coming from Hoodwink's direction. Not just that, Addy. The meowing came from Hoodwink himself. What? Do you think he's hiding Paco under his hat? No, I think he is Paco. You're not making any sense, Jillian. Paco's a good kitty. He wouldn't do this. That's not what I mean. I think the real Hoodwink is hiding somewhere else, and he used a magic spell to make Paco look like him. So what should we do? Just follow my lead. Alright. Okay, girls. Time's up. Have you made your decision? Yes, we have. So, which cat do you choose? This one. What? You heard her. We choose you. You, you can't choose me. Why not? You're a cat, aren't you? No, I'm not. I... Paco, do you want some tuna? <coughs> Aha! Get him, Jillian. No! He's changing! Whoa! Oh, Paco. It's so good to have you back, little guy. All right, all right. You're messing up my fur. Julie, look! So Hoodwink was all three of the cats? And no matter which cat we picked, it would be Hoodwink. I thought I had the perfect disguise, but you girls saw right through it. You're not going to try to trick us again, are you, Hoodwink? Yeah, you better not try to stop us from leaving. No, I won't stop you. Why did you want to keep us here with you anyway? Yeah, you said Paco could help you with your magic, but why would you need us? You, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try us. Yeah, after going through that fairy door, I'm ready to believe just about anything. You came through a fairy door? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think I want you to know where we came from. Pfft, it won't matter. I'm stuck here in this castle forever. Why's that? We had no trouble walking right in. I'm not really able to talk about it. Is someone keeping you here against your will? I can't really say. He can't say it, Jillian, but he didn't say you were wrong either. You're right, Addy. Let's keep asking him questions. Is there a spell on you to keep you from leaving? I can't really say. We're on the right track, Addy. Hoodwink, did whoever sent you here put a spell on you? I can't really answer that either. Hoodwink, was it the evil ones that sent you here? It was, wasn't it? Maybe you don't call them the evil ones here, but you know who we're talking about, don't you? Jillian, I think this spell won't let him talk about who did this to him, or why. Right, but he can still talk about other things. So Hoodwink, why did you want us to stay here with you? I... I'm lonely. I've been stuck here so long. Others are free to leave, you know. But old Hoodwink must never go. I kind of feel sorry for the little guy. Be careful, Jillian. It might be another trick of his. I don't blame you for not believing me. It's all I'm good for, lying and tricking people. I don't think it's his fault, Addy. You were just a normal toy at one point, weren't you, Hoodwink? I suppose I was. It seems so long ago. And then you fell under a spell and were sent here to cast the fairies out. Well, if I know anything about spells, there's always a way to break them. You'd do that? For me? Jillian, I don't know if we can trust him. Don't worry, Addy. I got this. Hoodwink, we have to be getting home. I suppose you'll leave old Hoodwink here all alone again, huh? We have to. We'll find out more about what happened here. 
And then? If there's a way to reverse the spell that's keeping you here, we'll be back to set you free. I'm sure that's what the fairies would have wanted anyway. But you better not be lying. How can I lie if I've told you nothing? You got me there. Come on, Jillian, let's go home while we can. Yeah, I think someone promised me some tuna when we get back home. Same old Paco. Goodbye, friends. And don't forget, the way back home is always the same way you left it. Got it. Come on, Paco. I don't know why he insists on walking. A cat has to sniff his way around, you know. Jillian, what's that on the ground? It's a necklace. That joke kind of looks like an eye. It's beautiful. It makes me nervous, Jillian. Maybe we should just leave it here. The fairies must have dropped this when they left the castle. We better keep it safe until we can return it. What if we never see the fairies? The tree guy said that they live far away from here. We can't just leave it here. Someone with bad intentions might take it. I guess so, but let's get going. I just want to go home again. All right. Okay, this looks like the place where we first arrived. I don't see the fairy door anywhere, Jillian. Paco, can you find the fairy door? Don't ask me, I'm too hungry to go looking for doors. Paco, the only way that you're gonna get your tuna is if we find that door. I'm on it. I'm worried, Daddy. What if we can't find that door? Yeah, I don't want to be stuck here in a land of enchantment forever, even if it means I don't have to go to school. Maybe we should look for that tree guy. He'll know what to do. Wait a minute, Jillian. Didn't Hoodwink tell us something right before we left? Oh yeah, he said the way back home was the same way we left it. Seems like common sense to me. Yeah, that's what he said, but it's not what we're doing. What do you mean? We're trying to leave the same way we arrived. That's not the same as the way we left. So what should we do then? We'll need this. The stone fairy, that's right. You remember what to do, right? Close your eyes Wait, and... we have to tell Paco how to do it. I already know. How do you think I went through that door to begin with? Why didn't you tell us to begin with? I wanted to see if you could figure it out for yourselves, hmm. Oh, Paco. Let's go then. Close your eyes and let yourself go. We're back! And Paco too! Don't ever run away again. Yeah, we'll see. How long have we been gone? Hey guys, come get dinner. Daddy, what day is it? Uh, it's the same day it was when I talked to you five minutes ago about your imaginary fairy door. So why don't you guys uh, wash up and let's go eat. No time has passed in our world then. How's that even possible? I guess time works differently between the two worlds. Uh, Jillian? What? The door is gone. So did you find the treasure chest? Where was it? Let us know in the comments. So the next episode is the fairy necklace and the item is a penny. A penny! Not a necklace, but a penny. Somewhere in the video, there's a penny hiding. There's a lot of places a penny could hide, huh? Mm -hmm. Good luck. It's hard Good to luck. Good luck. Yeah. All right, three more episodes to go here. Go check out, look for the penny. It's like the door was never there. Do you think it's because Daddy was just in here? I don't know, but the last time that happened, it came right back when he left. I guess we should just wait and see if it comes back. Maybe it won't come back. What do you mean? What if we weren't even meant to go through that door to begin with? That doesn't make any sense. Why would they even put the door there? Remember, it wasn't long after the door appeared that the flashing lights started flying around the room. But the tree guy told us that that was a sentry fairy putting a spell of protection around the room. I guess so, but that still doesn't mean that we were supposed to go inside the door. We had to go inside to get Paco back. Paco, that's right, we'll ask him what he thinks. Hey Paco, we have some questions for you. 
Yeah, make it quick. I'm trying to get a nap here. Paco, why did you go inside that fairy door? It's a secret. Come on, Paco, you can tell us. Yeah, did Hoodwink trick you into going through the door? Hmm, it's kind of embarrassing. We won't laugh at you, Paco. Paco, we need to know why this door appeared, why you went inside, and if it's ever coming back. I can't answer that first question for certain, but I have a pretty good idea. Why did that door appear, Paco? Obviously, someone on the other side needs you for something. That one you called the tree guy said as much to you, didn't he? Right. He said that magic was leaking from their world into ours and that they needed help, but he didn't say what we needed to do. Perhaps they'll tell you in time. Next question. Why did you go inside that door? Oh, uh, that's the embarrassing question. Can we skip it? No, you're part of our family, Paco. You can't keep secrets from us. Oh, like you're not keeping this whole thing a secret from your father. We tried telling him, but he wouldn't believe us. Yeah, Paco, stop dodging the question. All right, all right. That day, that flashing light was flying around the room. The fairy sentry? Yeah, stop interrupting me. Anyway, I just had to chase it. It was irresistible. You know how cats are. So you chased it through the fairy doorway? I don't know if it even knew I was chasing it, but yes, I just ran right after it. Couldn't help myself. Aw, my little old kitty still likes to play. <sighs> you promised you wouldn't make fun of me. Paco, I have a question. When we were trying to get out of the Land of Enchantment, how did you know that we needed to close our eyes and let ourselves go to get out? Hmm, funny thing. When I chased the ball of light, I could see I wasn't going to fit through that little door, but I was going too fast to stop. Not even you could fit through that door? Hey, I'm smaller than you, but I'm not fairy-sized. Anyway, I thought I was going to hit my head, so I closed my eyes. And let yourself go? Yeah, that part was easy. Cats are naturally very relaxed, even when chasing a fairy light around a room. So when you opened your eyes, you were in the land of enchantment. Yes, but I'm pretty sure I didn't end up in the same part of the woods that you did. I was on the other side of the castle. So you think the doorway isn't always consistent? Right, I'm guessing every time you go through it, you'd end up in the land of enchantment, but not always the same place. But I don't think that door's coming back anytime soon. So what about Hoodwink? Did you find the castle or did he find you? Well, he's telling the truth about one thing. He can't leave the castle. I went there on my own. Why did you go into the castle, Paco? Hmm, let's see. Domesticated cat, used to sleeping on a couch, suddenly alone in a forest. You figure it out. Were you scared? Tch, me scared? Never. You were looking for people. You thought the castle might have people in it. Bingo. It's not that I like people so much, but being a house cat does have its advantages. I figured being a castle cat might be even better. Even better than here? Yeah, where's your loyalty? Uh, cats aren't so much loyal as they are opportunists, you know. Oh, I don't believe you, Paco. You know you love us. Yeah, I guess so, but geez, why do you gotta make me say it? So when you went inside, Hoodwink got you and locked you up? Actually, he only locked me up later when he thought you would take me away. So what did he do with you? First of all, let me tell you, he knows nothing about cats. He even tried giving me a bowl of fruit. I don't think he has the slightest idea what cats like. Poor Paco. Did he try to use you for his magic? Yes, but I'm not sure what he was trying to do. What do you mean? He took me around to different parts of the castle. He kept saying different incantations near the walls. Don't ask me what they meant. It wasn't a language I've ever heard before. What parts of the castle? What do you mean he was near the walls? Jillian, do you think he was listening to the voices in the walls in the castle? Yeah, I wonder if those are the same voices in the walls that we had here. I didn't hear any voices. I think he was looking for something in the castle. You mean like a hidden passageway or a secret door? Maybe there's a hidden fairy treasure there. 
He didn't say anything about a treasure. Besides, what would a marionette want with some treasure, anyway? But he's not doing this for himself. Yeah, we're pretty sure he's working for the evil ones or someone like them. Well, I guess you guys are gonna have to figure this out for yourselves, cause it's time for me to take my nap. Jillian, do you think he was looking for that necklace you found? I guess he could have been, but it's not like it was hidden very well. It was just laying right outside the castle in the grass. If the fairies were in a hurry to leave, and they didn't want Hoodwink to find it, they could have just thrown it out the window. I guess so. It makes sense if they already knew Hoodwink couldn't leave the castle. Right, so once they threw it out the window, Hoodwink wouldn't be able to get it. But if the fairies ended up leaving the castle anyway, why didn't they just take the necklace with them? Maybe it was too dangerous for them to keep it with them. Dangerous? What if it was so powerful that they didn't even want to take it with them? But if that's the case, they would have hidden it better. I think the fairies put it there on purpose, where they knew we would find it later. How could they have known that, Jillian? They might not have known it would have been us at the time, but they could have thought it was their only option. They might not have had enough time to think it all through. I don't know. This is all just guessing until the door comes back or the fairies tell us what they want us to do. So you think we should just wait? Right now, I'm just happy to be back home, and I'm in no hurry for anything else weird to happen. Well, what about Hoodwink? We promised him that we'd be back. No, we didn't. We just promised that we'd try to find out more. I guess so, but we need to figure out how to break the spell keeping him captive, and we need to figure out how to get back to the Land of Enchantment. That's enough assignments for one day. Come on, we better go get dinner before Daddy comes back. I guess so. Still no fairy door yet? Still no fairy door. If it weren't for this fairy statue, I might have started to think we'd imagined the whole thing. Maybe we'd be better off if none of this had happened. You can't really mean that, Addy. Why not? Fairies, a magic wand, a talking tree? Maybe it's just time we start living in the real world. Don't forget a talking cat. That's true, I do like the talking cat part, but Paco isn't even talking as much as he used to. I know this hasn't been easy, but we shouldn't give up yet. Think of poor Hoodwink stuck all alone in that castle. I do feel really bad for him, but what more can we do? We've gone a week without any answers. Maybe we're not looking in the right place. Where should we look, Jillian? Close your eyes and let yourself go. Yeah, we've tried that like 20 times in the past week. Nothing happens anymore. Hmm. Do you have an idea? All along we've been closing our own eyes. What about this eye? How would you close that eye? Does it have a cover or something, like a locket? No, it doesn't. Try covering it up then. An eye that can't see is closed. Anything? Nah, nothing. Wait, we weren't closing our eyes whenever you covered it. Ready? One, two, three. Anything? Nope. Maybe we should just get rid of that thing. Why would we do that? Maybe that necklace is the reason that the door disappeared and nothing has happened all week. You don't know that for sure. We still don't know if that necklace even belongs to the fairies. It could be a bigger plan by the evil ones. I'm not just gonna give up on this, Hattie. I'm not either, but I think that necklace is bad. You can't see that and it's right in front of your eyes. Wait a minute, say that again? That necklace is bad? No, the other part. You can't see it, but it's right in front of your eyes? That's it, Addy. That's how you close this eye and your own eyes at the same time. You're not making any sense, Jillian. Close your eyes and let yourself go. Jillian, no! Jillian, what's happening? Jillian, what's wrong? Jillian, 
are you okay? Jillian, say something! What happened, Jillian? They spoke to me. So that was the fairy necklace. Did you find the penny? If you didn't, let us know in the comments, or didn't. <laughs> yeah, whether you did or didn't. The next video is called Fairies Talk to Us, and the object you're looking for is a three-leaf clover or a shamrock. That's right. right there. Somewhere in the video, fairies talk to us. Jillian, you scared me. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. What happened? I was going to ask you what happened. You were trembling and shaking. I'm fine now, really. It was weird, but I'm back. Back? Did you go somewhere? I was flying, I think. Maybe through space and even through time. What did you see? I was in a tunnel made out of light, and I think I even left our galaxy. That's crazy, Jillian. Were you on a spaceship or something? No, it wasn't like that. It was like I was experiencing it, but only through my mind. It's kind of hard to describe. Then what happened after you left the galaxy? I was floating through the clouds, and then I ended up in a beautiful forest. It looked a lot like the Land of Enchantment. Do you think the eye helps you see things in other places without actually going there? It seems like that, but it also really felt like I was there, too. But you never left this room, Jill, and you were sitting here the whole time. That's really weird, because I could feel the cold breeze of the forest on my skin. There was a waterfall. I swear I could feel the mist. Hmm, your hand is a little damp, but that could just be nervous sweat. That waterfall. I had a feeling there was something special about it, and that's when I heard the voice. What did it sound like? Maybe I didn't so much as hear the voice with my ears as I did with my mind. It's hard to explain. You said they spoke to you. Who's they? I'm not sure who they were, but I know one thing for certain. They were a force of goodness. I think it was the fairies. The fairies? A bunch of them? I think it was a representative of their people, but in a way, it was like all of them at once. I don't understand what you're saying, Jillian. I got the feeling that their society is a lot different than ours. They're individuals, but they have a way of thinking and feeling collectively. Collectively? What does that mean? It's like they're all one big connected family. Doesn't sound like there'd be much privacy. But somehow it felt right, like everyone knew they belonged to something. So what did they say to you? They knew my name. They called out to me. But then I heard your voice and I got pulled away and I came back here. So you got all that from just hearing your name called at a waterfall? I think they communicate with more than just words. There were a lot of feelings mixed in, but I think I came back too soon. They had more to say. I had to take that necklace away from your eye, Jillian. You look like you needed help. I'm okay now, really. It was just a surprise to be taken away so quickly. I know that feeling. Whenever we went through the fairy door, it all happened so fast. This was even more intense than that, but I think I need to do it again. Again? I don't know, Jillian. Are you sure it's safe? I'm back here now and I'm fine, aren't I? I can't let you go back there alone, Jillian. I want to come too. How are you going to do that? We only have one necklace. I think if I close my eyes and hold your hand, I'll be able to see what you're seeing. I guess it's worth a try, but are you sure you can handle it, Addy? If you can, I can, but I'm a little worried about how we're going to get back. I was able to come back pretty easily. But I took the necklace away from your eye. This time we'll both be in there. I don't think it was just you taking away the necklace. I think it was your voice. It was almost like being woken up from a dream. Maybe we could have Daddy watch us. Oh, sure. He'll totally believe us. Hey, Dad, can you watch us while we use our magic necklace to travel to another galaxy? I guess you're right. Maybe we should set an alarm clock. Or you could just have me wake you up. Whoa, where did you come from? Paco, how long have you been spying on us? I'm a cat. We're always watching, always listening. Paco, do you think you could wake us up from the visions of the necklace? If cats are good at one thing, it's waking people up. Those midnight snacks aren't going to serve themselves, you know. Wait, how's Paco going to know when it's time to bring us back? I don't know. 
Cats can tell when a human needs help, but we usually just don't care. How are you gonna wake us up? I suppose I could bite your finger. That should do it. Sometimes a human deserves a little bite, don't you think? I don't suppose you could just try meowing in that annoying way you do every morning. Annoying? How insulting. That's my morning song. Oh, Paco, you're the best. I know, I know. So are you two going to try that necklace again or what? I have to report for Mouse Patrol in 30 minutes. Mouse Patrol? Someone has to protect this house from vermin, you know. Let's do this before I lose my nerve, Jillian. Take my hand. Here we go. Close your eyes and let yourself go. It's working! Whoa! Don't worry, Addy. It'll be okay. I wasn't worried. There's the waterfall. It's beautiful. Hello, it's me, Jillian. I'm Jillian's sister, Addie. Welcome. Did you hear that, Addie? I did. Thank you for talking to us. Who are we talking to? We go by many names. Are you fairies? You may call us that if you wish. What do you call yourselves? As we said, we go by many names, but we call ourselves the protectors of the light. What light? In this world, as in all worlds, there is a struggle between the powers of lightness and darkness, good and evil, purpose and chaos. So you protect the good side, the light? Yes, some would say it is the duty of our people, but it's more than a duty, it's what we were made to do. Who made you? We don't think of it as a being, yet at the same time, it is all those things and none. It is what we call the One, that which is a part of all worlds and times. Did the One make the darkness as well as the light? The two are a part of each other, at the same time opposed to each other. I don't get what you mean. The light would not exist without darkness. There is a natural balance that the existence of everything depends on. So you protect the light, but you can never entirely get rid of the darkness either, right? You are a wise one, Jillian. Thank you. Hey, what about me? Addie, you bring strength and courage. Right now, we need both of you. What for? The ones who call themselves the rulers of darkness have been gathering strength, threatening to disrupt the natural harmony of our world. The rulers of darkness? I don't like the sound of those guys. Are they the same as the evil ones? The evil ones are part of their group, which includes many other dark beings that you two have already defeated or banished from your world. You already knew about those? I guess word gets around. We consider you to be active allies in our cause as protectors of the light. What can we do here? We're just two little girls from another world. You have already done so much. Really? You've managed to gain the trust of Hoodwink, and may be able to turn his heart. Is he under a spell? Yes, the rulers of darkness have him under their influence, but they can't control his every move. That is where they always fail. Our cat Paco said that Hoodwink was trying to do magic in the castle. What's that marionette up to? Before our people fled, we wrapped the castle in many spells of protection to keep the rulers of darkness out. Hoodwink is working to break down those spells one by one for them. What happens if he breaks down all the spells? Then the rulers of darkness will gain control of the castle, and all will be lost. Can't you just build a new castle? I thought your people moved somewhere else anyway. It's much more than just a castle at stake here. The foundation of the castle sits on the crystal caves of light. 
Is that where your magic power comes from? Yes. Even small shards from the crystal caves can wield immense power, as you already know. The crystals we retrieved last year when we helped the people of the forest. You speak the truth. So a whole cave made of those crystals must be really powerful, huh? More powerful than we could ever know. If the crystal caves fell into the wrong hands, it could be catastrophic. The land of enchantment would be wiped out? There are some who believe all worlds depend on the caves, not just the land of enchantment. All worlds? Even ours? Even yours. The entire universe could be destroyed. But wouldn't the rulers of darkness just be destroying themselves? In their minds, they believe we are the selfish ones, but we only seek a natural balance between darkness and light. They believe that by controlling both forces, they will have absolute power. So what's the plan to stop them? We must be careful, for the bejeweled eye can see for many. What does that mean? Whoa! Paco, you brought us back too soon. Yeah, they were just about to tell us what to do next. Geez, a little gratitude would be nice. Should we go back, Jillian? Hmm, maybe not right away. Why not? That last thing they said has me a little worried. The bejeweled eye can see for many? Yeah, I think that might mean that there could be spies. The rulers of darkness? Yeah, let's just wait for now. The fairies will let us know what to do next when the time comes. And so it begins, the fools. Do we act now? No, we continue watching until the time is right. And then... And then we show them what real power is. LET DARKNESS PREVAIL! So that was Fairy's Talk to us. Did you find the clover? Let us know in the comments. In the next video, Fairy Fountain in the Woods, you're looking for a bird. Specifically, this bird. A bird. Birdie. Oh, that should be easy to find a bird, mm -hmm. right? In the video? If you find it, let us know in the comments. If you don't, try it again. Have you heard anything from the fairies yet? No, I wonder if we should look into the eye of the necklace again. I thought you were worried there could be spies. That was a week ago. Now I don't know what to think. But the fairies said the bejeweled eye can see for many. They also said that Hoodwink was breaking down the spells of protection in the castle. We could be running out of time. I guess a quick peek into the eye wouldn't hurt, right? Yeah, I'm tired of waiting for a sign. Let's do this. Jillian, the fairy door is back. That's a pretty strong sign. Look, it's even open. What does that mean? Maybe we're supposed to go inside the door again? Wait a minute. I think I see something in there. Jillian, those are words. It must be a message from the fairies. They must be using this door instead of the eye necklace for a reason. Maybe this is a more private line. I can read it now. To save the castle, you must return to the woods of last summer. They're talking about the woods we found Amber in. There's more. There you must forge a new path. I wonder what that means. I guess we'll find out once we're in the woods. What's it say now? At the path's end, you must collect the waters of purity. The waters of purity? What's that? I don't know, but if we're collecting water, we should probably bring a bottle along. Anything else? No, the words just faded away. So they're sending us back to the woods to get some magic water? It must be the only way to free Hoodwink. Or to restore the castle's spells of protection. Maybe it's both. Jillian, why can't the fairies just get the waters of purity for themselves? It might not be safe for them to come to our world right now. Why couldn't they just ask the people of the forest to get it? 
I guess that would make sense. It's their woods, too. Yeah, aren't the people of the forest friends with the fairies? The tree guy made it sound like they were on the same team, at least. So why can't they get the magic water for them? I'm sure there's a reason. Maybe the magic doesn't work the same way when it's moved between worlds. What do you mean? I think it means we're the only ones who can do this. That's okay. I don't mind if it helps the fairies. We better put on our hiking boots. I don't have any hiking boots. It's just an expression. Let's go find that water. I think this is the tree where we found Amber last summer. Yeah, it's hard to believe that was almost a year ago. I miss her. Addie, we just saw her last month. I know, but I wish she lived with us again. We've been over this, Addie. She's best off living with her own people. I guess you're right. I feel like we're walking in circles. We can't leave until we find that water, Addie. Where did they say it would be? There you must forge a new path. I haven't seen a new path anywhere, have you? Maybe we're supposed to leave the path. Oh no, I'm not doing that. Why not? Two reasons, poison ivy and bees. Those are two good reasons. We just need to look around more carefully. Yeah, maybe it's hidden under a rock or something. Very funny. I meant we need to open our eyes. Wait a minute, I wonder if the necklace can help us. I don't think we should look through it here. Maybe it can help us in another way. It seems like it's swinging that way. Let's follow it. I guess it's not going to help us after all. Julian, look! Whoa, I didn't see that path last time. The necklace really did show us the way. Let's go. What's that? That must be what we came for. Fountain of youth? If you drink from it, you'll stay young forever. Or maybe just get younger. I thought the fountain of youth was just a legend. We're following a magic necklace through the woods so we can save a fairy castle. And you have a problem with the fountain of youth? Good point. This must be the waters of purity they were talking about. Come on. The waters of purity. How'd they fit all this inside here? Maybe it's a dimensional portal. I thought you were gonna say fairy magic. Maybe they're the same thing. It's like a whole other world in here. Yeah, let's just get the water and get out of here. Good thing I brought this bottle along. All filled up? Yeah, let's go. Julian, look! It's gone! We better not drop this water. This might be all we get.
Now what should we do? Let's take that water over to the door. That doesn't look good. Something feels wrong here, Addy. Yeah, this just doesn't seem right. Wait, words are appearing. Time is running out. We just got back. We need to get that water to the fairies before the door closes. Jillian, the stone fairy's broken. How did that happen? I didn't do it. Who would have done that? Look, Jillian, another message. It's too late? It can't be. Yes, it's too late! Oh no. So did you find the bird in Fairy Fountain in the Woods? Tell us about it in the comments. Okay, so the next and the last episode is Fairy Finale, and the item is a frog. A frog? A froggy. In the Fairy Finale, there's a frog. And don't go away after this, because we got some special news to share. Yeah, special news. Awesome. Oh, oh yes! yes. The rulers of darkness have arrived. They already bow in fear to their new rulers. We don't bow before anyone. Yeah, get out of our house and crawl back under the rock you came from. Ha! These two don't know it's already over. The place you call the fairy castle has fallen. You're lying. Yeah, if the fairy castle's already fallen, what are you doing here? We do as we please without explaining to the likes of you. Ha! I knew you were lying. So, should I call my father, my mother, or the police? Yeah, we don't take kindly to home invaders around these parts. You think we fear your elders? They were easily fooled by our new human skins. We now look as ugly as you, so your parents didn't even notice the sleep spell we threw over them. You two better not have hurt them. Yeah, you just messed with the wrong family. They slumber and will not awaken, unless you do as we say. Your parents and your stupid pet too. You must be referring to the dog. Yes, I know I'm quite handsome. A familiar. Perhaps they have other powers. Quiet, you fool. You're afraid of Paco? Ha, huh, they're afraid of a little kitty. You know I've always been more than just a pet, didn't you? We fear no man or beast. You didn't look exactly happy to see him. Maybe we should sick him on you guys just to see what happens. What will happen is that your parents will never wake up unless you do exactly as we say. We'll listen a bit longer. But we're starting to lose our patience, so don't try anything funny. Give us the Eye of Infinity. And then you'll wake up our parents? And go away forever? Yes. What do you think, Addy? Hmm. No. What? No, you guys are jerks. We're not giving you anything. Stop being a fool and give it to us! You'll have to find it first. Hand it over now! Never! Where is it? You'll never find it. Go home before things get really ugly. Give us the eye! Are you four finished yet? You might as well stop fighting. I hid the necklace. Where did you put it, you foul beast? Uh-uh-uh. Say pretty, please. Give us the necklace or we'll wear your skin as slippers. Ooh, tell me how you really feel. Paco, I don't want you to get hurt. Tell him where it is. Patty, is that a good idea? Don't worry about it. The necklace is safe. Give it to us.
I just put it inside that little door over there. You fool! What does it mean, Jillian? I don't know, but at least they can't get the necklace. Oh, don't worry. We'll get the necklace. Even as we speak, Hoodwink is breaking down the last spell on the castle. We'll set him free before that can happen. And how will you do that? We have Addy, a- Addy, be quiet! You have a what? It seems these two brats have a plan to break the spell. Look, the little one hides a potion. Hey, that's ours! Give that to me! What strange fluid is this? Haven't you ever seen a bottle of water before? She's lying. It must have great power. Where did you get this? A vending machine. Once again, she lies. Time for the spell of truth, then. Would you like to do the honors? Let darkness set your tongue free, and truthful shall ye be. Don't say anything, Addy. Now tell us, where did you get this fluid? Fountain. What fountain? Youth. Fountain of Youth. Addie, no! Fountain of Youth. She can only speak the truth. Do you know what this means? If we drink from it, we shall live forever. Drink deeply, my sister in darkness. It is finished! A new era begins! The rulers of darkness shall live until the end of time! I'm sorry, Jillian. I tried to lie, but I just couldn't. It's not your fault, Addy. Oh, girls, I think you have a new message over there. Look, Jillian! There is still hope. Silence, fool! All hope is lost. What's happening to them, Jillian? I don't know, but they don't look so good. We're fading! They've tricked us! That must have been one strong drink. Why'd that happen, Jillian? I don't know, but the doorway said there was still hope. Yes, there is still hope. Fairies! But hope is fading fast. But why? We just defeated the rulers of darkness. There are many more of them, and Hoodwink continues to break down the spells of protection on the castle. We brought the waters of purity, but the rulers of darkness drank it. The waters are a force of pure goodness that destroyed them, but not the spells on Hoodwink. We need to bring the waters to him. They drank it all. We'll have to go get more. There is no time. Hoodwink's spell must be broken immediately and the powers of the castle restored. Will our parents be okay? They have already awoken and have no memory of what happened. Wait a minute, Jillian. There's still a few drops left in here. Is this enough to break Hoodwink's spell? We fear that is not enough, unless... Unless what? Yeah, what do you need us to do? You have already done enough. There is another who can help. Paco? You didn't see that one coming, did you? Only a special cat who has passed through the gateway has the power to magnify such a small amount from the waters of purity. Well, seeing that the whole universe is at stake, I guess I can help out. We're coming too. It is too dangerous. Only your cat can resist the spells and save the castle. How long will it take? It depends on his powers and the water. There is a chance he may never be able to leave without the castle being lost. He could be stuck inside the castle forever? It is a difficult choice, one we cannot make for you, but the entire universe could be at stake.
Paco, are you sure you want to do this? I don't want him to go, Jillian. But Addy, if he doesn't, the universe will fall under control of the rulers of darkness. But Paco's our kitty. I don't want to lose him. I don't either, but if he doesn't go, we could lose everything anyway. Paco, tell me you won't go. Please, tell me you won't leave. Why isn't he talking? In his heart, he feels too much pain to speak, but he knows the right thing to do. It's time to let him go, Addy. No, it's not fair. I don't want my kitty to leave. It's gonna be okay, Addy. Bye, little guy. He's gone! So is the water bottle. The fairy door is closed. It won't open. Paco, come back! I think we just need to wait, Addy. No sign of Paco, huh? No. Daddy put up lost cat signs in the street. I couldn't tell him what really happened. At least the fairy door is still there. And I think Paco might be succeeding, because our world has stayed the same. I know I should be happy about that, Jillian, but I'm not. I just want my kitty back. I do too, Addie. Come here. All right, how about petting me for a change? Paco, get over here! How'd you make it back? Those fairies are pretty organized. They have a whole group of cats working there now on shifts. Paco, is the castle gonna be okay? Better than ever, thanks to us cats. Those spells of protection should be at full strength in a week or so. What about Hoodwink? Funny you should mention him. Hey, girls! Hoodwink? That's me! I don't know, Paco. Are you sure we can trust this guy? Mm, thanks to the waters of purity, the fairies were able to make him an honorary protector of the light. Yep. No more evil deeds for me. Uh, so what's he doing here, Paco? Yeah, I thought this place could use a little livening up, don't you think? We're gonna have so much fun together, friends. Oh no. Oh yes. The end. So that was the fairy finale. Did you find the frog? And did you find all seven items? Or just tell us how much you missed or got in the comments below. Yep. If you find them all, that is amazing. It might take a couple tries, right? Yep. So... Now for our special news. Special news! As you know, Halloween is around the corner. We've been getting ready for Halloween. And yes, we are going to do the 13 Days of Halloween, Halloween. on our sister channel, Baby Teeth More. Or our second channel, whatever sister you want to call channel. it. Sister channel. Baby Teeth More, 13 days of Halloween. So starting 13 days before <laughs> Halloween and including, we normally will do the day after Halloween as a bonus as well. So we I guess that will all. start on the 18th, right? 18th or 19th. And then um, also join us right here on Baby Teeth 4 next week for a brand new episode. We know you guys have been liking the uh, Stalked by Pumpkin series. Will there be a part three? Mm, probably, but we haven't made it yet. We're doing some travel this weekend, so. Um, but there will be, there will definitely be a brand new, all original video next week. So join us next Sunday here on Baby Teeth Four. All right, guys. Thanks for Thank participating you so much. in the challenge. Uh -huh. Subscribe, <laughs> like, yeah. comment, subscribe. Go follow us on Instagram. And, and goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> Yep. Let us know in the comments. Thank you so much. Have fun, everyone.